And ladies and gentlemen, it is time for the anticipated battle between Andrew Moenda and Miriam Atembe about the state of affairs in our nation. They both join midlife on this broadcast. So you two, you can start having each other already. Uh -uh. Uh, this is very simple for me. This government is a total joke. Oh, if it is a joke, how come you're not laughing? Hmm? How come 80% of the people in Uganda are not laughing at the government? I've traveled to Ayanda, I've traveled to Marana, I've traveled to Fort Porto, I've traveled to Jinja, I've been to Ketugum, Kamenemaido, Arua, Soroti, everywhere in Moroto. I've never heard people saying, ha ha ha, government. So what are you talking about when you say it is funny? No, 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 no. That means that if it is funny, 80% of the things that they're saying that the government is a joke. Oh, Jesus. True. What about this ignorance of Mwenda? <laughs> All you can do is talk and talk. Co -co 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 He's like a chicken trying to lay an egg. <laughs> if, but that's a good thing. That is a good thing. If you're saying that I'm like an egg, uh, I'm like a chicken trying to lay an egg. That's a good thing because statistics show that 90% of the people in Uganda oh, actually have Rolex. And the Rolex, we know that, that according to statistics, you cannot have a Rolex unless you have two eggs. So me doing that, I'm actually producing 2% to the contribution of people in Uganda having food. And like Tisa basically, the delusional stupid best country of opposition for life. No, 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 let us give one person a, a chance to speak, then another one. Like, don't, don't fight. Don't fight. Don't fight. Let us speak like sensible, grown people. Let us start with Miriam Atembe. Uh -huh. Miriam Atembe. What do you have to say about Uganda right now with the security problems and everything? Let me tell you one thing. Uganda right now might be the most unsafest place to live in the whole universe. Who told you that? Your mother? Now you, you hear that stupid man. Are you blind? Can't you see? Can't you see everyone is being killed? Everyone is being killed. Is Abiriga. Is Abiriga everyone? Can you categorically state without fear of any contradiction that when they killed Abiriga, they had killed also 100% of the population in Uganda? That is the problem of the opposition in Uganda. Are you dead? And you arrive and you on this show? So what are you talking about that they killed everyone by killing Abiriga? Moderator, can you protect me from that thing? You think, Mwenda, you sabotaging? No, 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 no. I cannot stop talking. That's the problem with Uganda. The Ugandan opposition, actually, to be specific, the problem with Ugandan opposition, they have no consideration for facts. They say everything that comes in their head. Right now, seeing opposition is like watching a science fiction movie. Actually, reading the manifesto of FDC is the same thing as going to the cinema and you watch a Marvel Infinity War movie. It is just totally fiction. There's nothing that is true. They only talk and 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 talk have consideration for fact. Wait, what has happened? We have run out of time. But I've not yet finished talking. I still had more facts to bring. Like for instance, I wanted to say that the economy of Uganda is going at 6%, which is higher than the Soviet Union when it was still under Kishinsky Dimitrov.